I've been waiting for you, Naruto. This is new. You never come out to meet me like this. I know. There's something we need you to do. What is it? Come on. We're going to the Hokage's mansion. Huh? There you are. Huh? Everybody's here. What's going on? And, uh, who's that? Who's the geezer frog? Watch your mouth. This honorable personage is one of the two great sages of Mount Myoboku, Lord Fukusaku. He's the venerable master who taught Lord Jiraiya sage jutsu. Huh? Pervy Sage's teacher? <laughs> Pervy Sage, huh? What a fitting nickname for Jiraiya boy. So what's the frog geezer doing here? I'm not sure where to begin. But uh, I suppose the most important thing is... Huh? Jiraiya boy has fallen in battle. What? what? What are you talking about? He was fighting the leader of the Akatsuki. One attack caught him off guard and he was gravely injured. Jiraiya boy was covered in wounds, but he entrusted his information on pain to me. He's left the rest up to you. N no, that's... That's gotta be a lie. It's the truth. But Pervy Sage, he never... It's the truth. Accept it. Huh? Naruto. You let him go? Grandma? That's right. Why... Why'd you let him take that risk? You know Pervy Sage better than anyone. How could you send him to such a dangerous place alone? Stop it, Naruto. You of all people ought to know how the Hokage is feeling now. Naruto, where are you going? Pervy Sage had been fifth Hokage. He wouldn't have let Grandma Tsunade take such risks. For him, he'd never... This would never have... He... Ah! Naruto! Sakura, enough. Just let him be. My apologies, Lord Fukasaku. I'll arrange for Naruto to... No, no. That's all right. That's just what I'd expect from Jiraiya Boy's student. He has the same fire in his belly. Let's adjourn for today. I expect Naruto will calm down if we give him some time. Hmm. All right. I'll go back until then. When the time comes... Of course. You're dismissed. You as well, Shizune. Yes, ma'am. there, Naruto. I hear you've been real active on missions and such. Everyone in the village is talking about you. Hey, let's go somewhere and catch up. I'll buy you some Ichiraki ramen. No thanks. Naruto? so long 
long since I've seen the Hidden Leaf Village. Sure is a relief to be back, isn't it? This last field mission took forever. Oh, I wonder how everybody's doing. <laughs> It'll be great to see them all again. Hey, you two, settle down. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh, we can't help it, Sensei. It's just been so long. Honestly. When I came back to the Hidden Leaf Village, Pervy Sage told me to settle down too, did <laughs> Today's training was pretty harsh. We're just getting started. I'll increase the amount of difficulty little by little. <laughs> what? Why the laugh? Are you looking forward to more punishment? No, not that. I'm just glad to be training. Glad? It gets tougher every day, but when I think I'm getting closer to Sasuke, bit by bit, it just makes me happy. I'll get stronger and stronger, and I'll get Sasuke back for sure. Always cheerful with a positive attitude, huh? <laughs> Looking at you, I'm convinced that someday a bright light will shine into this world of ninja. Huh? Where's this coming from? Unfortunately, right now, the world is overrun by hatred. Hatred? It's a product of war, the grudge felt after something is lost. Orochimaru and Sasuke lost their families and were trapped by hatred. They're also victims, in a way. I'm always thinking that I want to do something about this hatred, but I'm not sure how to go about it yet. But I truly believe that the day will come when all people will understand one another. Wow, that's kind of deep. Well then, if I can't find the solution myself, shall I pass the quest on to you? Yes, sir. Can't refuse your orders, Pervy Sage. <laughs> huh? What's so funny? I feel redeemed by your smiling face. <laughs> I'm glad I made you my student. Naruto. Iruka Sensei. I heard about Lord Jiraiya. I wanted him to keep watching over me. Wanted him to see me become Hokage. But I only ended up showing Pervy Sage the worst, most uncool side of me. Lord Jiraiya only ever had praise for you. He was always boasting about you, saying you were like his own grandchild. Hervey Sage? He had faith that you were the one who would inherit his will. That you would become a wonderful Hokage one. So... But... Hmm? Hervey Sage isn't here. Even if he thought of me as his grandson. Even if he believed I'd become Hokage. He isn't here anymore. He isn't anywhere. He is. Huh? 
He's inside you, in your heart, and he'll always be watching over you. Inside me? It's true that Lord Jiraiya has left us, but the will you've inherited from him. The will? In all that time you spent walking with Jiraiya, what did you receive? It was a countless amount of ideas, a will. That's what you inherited. That, Lord Jiraiya's will, is alive. It's firmly alive inside of you. Close your eyes. You should find Lord Jiraiya within you. I believe. For example, even if the same thing happens to you, I believe you'll keep going with your head up, that your eyes will be clear, that you'll rush down the path you believe in. I'll always believe in you. Well, what did Lord Jiraiya say? Did he tell you to hesitate here and stay depressed? He... he said he believed that I keep going with my head up, that I rush down the path I believed in. He said he'd always believe in me. Did he? It's not like me to be depressed. He told me I could become Hokage. He said I was like his grandchild. If I stay depressed, Pervy Sage is gonna get mad at me. It really hurts. And it's frustrating and hard, but... I won't just stand around anymore. I'm through hesitating. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna take what Pervy Sage gave me and charge down my own ninja way. As Pervy Sage's student, to the very end! <laughs> now that's the Naruto Uzumaki I know. Do your best. Yeah. Thanks, Iruka-sensei. Now, to make a fresh start. Final chapter. The tale of Naruto Uzumaki.